Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sincerely Owosa. If you haven't come across my channel before, I upload beauty, lifestyle, straight talking videos. Today's video is going to be a straight talking video. So please, before we get into it, please do make sure you subscribe. I'm cro crawling, crawling, crouching, encroaching, slowly getting to 40,000 subscribers. And I'd love you guys to join me on my jo journey to creating dope content. And uh, yeah, you'll just see me just popping up like a baby girl in your subscription boxes. So please, please do subscribe just click the button below to subscribe and so yes today we are going to be talking about some of these white girls who want to be black oh gosh what a topic i've been clocking onto this for time from time drink no from time i have been noticing this trend of like white girls trying to make themselves look i wouldn't say black like jawsy um articulately and succinctly said it and he said it in her instagram video i don't think that these girls are trying to be black they're trying to be racially ambiguous if you didn't know about all of this news basically it's about um last week i think middle of last week uh, on twitter it came to someone's attention that a girl emma something i'm sorry i'll put her at here if you're interested to know i'll put the article below about it in which i'm featured in but yes, so a one an Instagram influencer, uh, it was revealed that she's not actually mixed race and a lot of people who were following her, sorry I'm itchy, thought that she was mixed race because she would wear darker foundations, she would put filters, which a lot of Instagrammers do by the way, she would put filters on her pictures so she would appear darker, she got her lips done so that her lips looked fuller, she would um, braid her hair in the night time and then wake up and, and unravel them so that they looked like they were a loose curl pattern similar to that of a 3B curl pattern that you usually see on mixed race women. And um, so it was revealed that she wasn't and then there was a huge thread on Twitter about different girls, not just her, but several other white influencers who were making themselves look racially ambiguous forward slash light, like light skin from someone who's like an Instagram influencer. I spend a lot of time on Instagram. I earn a, a, an income from Instagram as well. And I've noticed as a black woman dark, and a dark skinned woman that in the last like three to four years, there's been a, a, a surge of mixed race girls being um, working with larger re online retail brands. And um, a lot of the time, and I will call them out, if you go on Pretty Little, Little Things Instagram page, you'll see lots of white girls, a few light skinned girls, a few mixed race girls, and you also here and there you know like a four-leaved clover <laughs> which don't exist so that doesn't exactly apply here but whatever um once like in every 10 or every 12 or every 15 pictures you will see a dark a, a black girl i won't say she's dark skinned but you'll see a black girl but a lot of the time and this goes also into other industries but a lot of the time when it comes to blackness everybody can monetize off of blackness except from black people it goes literally if you look at things like jazz, if you look at things like salsa, if you look at things like the samba, if you look at things like the jive, all of these things were actually created by black people, but where are the black faces of it now? And I just, I do feel like when people say, oh, you know, it's the same as, you know, black girls wearing weave. No, I will be addressing that in another video, but wearing weave doesn't, um, it, that that isn't flirting with another race whereas having putting on a, on a darker skin tone wearing extensions putting your hair in braids so that they look curly all of these things to um to um, attach yourself to blackness or to an element of blackness that is flirting with the with with another race when black people do try and kind of like claim that they are white like we saw um, that girl called treasure on dr phil when we do see cases like that they are seen as laughable they're seen, seen as comical even if you look at the, the issue of michael jackson um with that obviously i think it's kind of like up in the air whether he was trying to um, bleach his skin or whether he had vitiligo who knows but he, but the, the the idea and the rumor that he was trying to be white was also seen seen as laughable ridiculous don't get me wrong it's, it's ridiculous but the thing is it's, it should be ridiculous both ways but it's only when black people do it it's but when white people do it it's there's constant excuses made for their behavior all the time if i was to wake up today and say i want to be white there is no way that i could access access white privilege 
the way that white people have white privilege. There's just no way that I could access. White people, can, they can attach themselves to blackness in that way or they can create those features for themselves and uh, no, one will, no one will be the wiser. In fact, they'll be praised for it like the Kardashians have been. The thing is, the, the, the trick and the, the, the insidious nature of, of being racially ambiguous or, or, or um, in portraying yourself as light-skinned is the fact that you still have that proximity to whiteness. So you can still gain access to white spaces. You can still gain access to that white privilege. And this is why brands will continue, even after this scandal, brands will continue to work with these girls because they look, it's like, okay, oh, you have the sexy elements of blackness that we like without any of the bad elements of blackness that we don't like. And yet you still look like us. So it, it's that attainable thing. It's like, you look so sexy that our white customers would want to look like you. They'd want to buy the products that you are modeling on your Instagram. And unfortunately, that means that you are using our features to take up spaces that we could be taking up. Taking up now. Obviously, don't get me wrong. I don't. I'm not saying that we should bulldoze our way into working with brands that aren't checking for us anyway. In Utopia, obviously, these brands would want to work with us anyway. But what I'm saying is, it's a shame that we are overlooked and in our place with our features but without all of our features other girls are able to take what could be ours and they're able to monetize off of features that come very naturally to us and they're able to even monetize off of the culture that we have this hip-hop culture that you're doing we see it and we're calling you out but yes i hope that you have enjoyed the video if you have enjoyed it please please do give it a thumbs up comment with what you think as well like how you've seen instagram and like the aesthetic and please 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 do subscribe and i can um yeah i can just continue to flood your sub boxes with all of this blackity black con content thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye